It is 1.48 p.m. Friday, August 11th, 2023. I apologize for the camera angle. I don't have a phone holder. I actually do have them, but they always quit working and the phone falls every time I like hit a bump or anything. So, I apologize for that. But it's more audio only anyway. So, if you're doing something, my videos... Unless I'm showing something, which you'd be able to tell. But when it's like this, there's no point. Just listen in. I don't know if I would recommend earbuds, though. I haven't been using those in a while. And I used to have one in 24-7. But something just kind of pushed me away from that. I'm not saying they for sure are harmful or anything. But usually when I just feel like, you know, naturally going towards or away from something... Later on, I find out there was a reason why that I like that I don't even know right now. So be careful with the earbuds. I'm not saying I won't get another set in the near future, but just be careful with prolonged. I think I was sleeping with them in and and keeping them in all day, and uh, I think prolonged exposure inside your ear like that might you know be something we need to learn more about. So just use them when you need them, in my opinion. Do what you want, but in my opinion, just use them as you need them. There's a cop in the middle of the road with his lights on. Looks like there is some tar dropped. Some tar dropped out of... Uh, truck and leaked out. He's trying to, it's everywhere. It's very strange. It's on both sides of the road. Sorry, I mean to get distracted, but it caught me off guard. I'm on Main Street and the cop was just sitting in the, the right lane, the main right lane with his lights on blocking the road, but just texting. He must have been trying to alert somebody I'm running into some of it it's on it's in every lane there's no way to completely miss it it just looks like tar leaked out of a truck so I forget what I was even just talking about but back on to the reason why I clicked record is um and I'm going to have to cut this off, but I, it'll be quick for you guys because I'll edit it together into one video. But the face peeling aliens. Um, I just, I got to keep stressing when I start out even speaking on this topic. The, the face peeling aliens in Peru became, you know, known to us and started after, right after the government started disclosing stuff about aliens and UFOs and UAPs so the timing is just impeccable but there's m multiple explanations and that's all I'm doing is is I'm just speaking out my thoughts of what could be true and what's really going on um, just ideas but the aliens could be real they could be inter interterrestrial extraterrestrial or, or regular terrestrial and they could know that the disclosure is happening and that could have something to do why they're doing it or it could just be timing because it's all just like a you know setup kind of story craziest thing to me that they're peeling the faces off of the victims the people you know i can't stop thinking about the fact that whenever we feel any kind of intense emotion that that's some form of energy that rises up within us and it expresses out the face. You don't notice it in people's elbows and kneecaps and stuff. Whenever somebody gets angry or when somebody gets happy or feeling laughter, joy, positive or negative, the expression comes through the face. You know, that's what changes the facial expression by what energy we're producing, letting off or filtering through us, however it works with emotion and energy. But... It's just un, it's just impeccable. It's like unbelievable the timing with the with the U.S. government alien disclosure stuff, UAP disclosure stuff, and then this happening in Las Vegas and then Peru, right? You know, the same time frame, and then it, they'd be saying that they're peeling faces off. It's just very interesting to me. 
Let me know in the comment section. What do you guys think? I'm not going to rattle off every single possibility of what's going on here because I'll be talking for hours. But I will conversate with anybody who leaves a comment. And, you know, I'll probably be talking about this more soon. Because either way, whether it's true, whether it's whatever it is, whatever it is, you know, it, it's what's being put in front of us to pay attention to. So I want to know why. I want to know what's really going on. And, and if it's not what's really happening, what's in the story, then I want to know why that's what they want me to believe is going on. You know, I'm just curious. That's all. Let me know what you guys are thinking about it all can't get away from it now anywhere on my, I, I tried to ignore it at first but it just doesn't seem to be going away it's everywhere on my subscription list and scrolling through the social medias like my algorithms picked up on it so that's all i appreciate you if you've watched this far cash app and paypal link is in the description support would be much appreciated and um credit will be given too to anybody giving support I will always, unless somebody says don't say my name or don't say anything about it, I'll always give credit, you know, I'll always talk about that when anybody supports me because this channel is going to grow or one of my pages are going to grow, one of my channels or accounts are going to grow and they're going to grow soon and I'm going to do my best to try to make some kind of positive difference here. I do feel like the masses are being deceived. I do feel like that there is some sort of like nefarious sort of plan going on here and uh, I, I do think that you know any of us who see it or are aware that something just isn't quite right it's our job to step up and say something people might actually you know care and pay attention if we say it point things out the right way to where it makes sense so Support is greatly appreciated. Links in, are in the description. Stay up.